It sounds like you're saying that this is a Republican problem and not one that you bear any responsibility for. Well, Julie, give me an example of what uh, what I might do. Just try to clarify your statement. Well, no, but I'm trying to clarify the question. The uh, what, what, what I'm what I'm suggesting is I've, I've put forward a plan that calls for serious spending cuts, serious entitlement reforms, goes right at the problem uh, that is at the heart of our long-term deficit problem. Um, I've offered uh, negotiations around that kind of balanced approach. And so far we've gotten rebuffed because uh, what Speaker Boehner and the Republicans have said is we cannot do any revenue. We can't do a dime's worth of revenue. So what more do you think I should do? Okay, I just, I just want to clarify. You know, because, because if people have a suggestion, I'm happy to, uh, you know, this, this, is, this is a room full of smart, this is a room full of smart folks. So, so maybe, uh, maybe the president actually does have a point, right? It might solve okay. things if a bunch of people, smart people outside of the White House, came up with a plan and really worked it out. But, oh, wait, maybe the Senate should do that. Maybe the super committee that was supposed to come up with this in the beginning maybe the people should have done that. job it is to do it. Well, look, I think that he does have a point because you have to realize that, that his position and the position of Democrats has been unchanged throughout the process. They've always called for a combination of spending cuts and revenue raisers. And uh, Republicans have declared any new tax revenues off the table. So that is that is a problem from the sort of larger view of compromise. And, I, you know, certainly one of the other things that's worth pointing out is that, as the president mentioned, he was trying to negotiate a grand bargain with House Speaker John Boehner during fiscal cliff negotiations in December. And the very last proposal from the White House was a close to one to one ratio of spending cuts to new revenues. And it also included unpopular um, you know, unpop an unpopular social security cut known as chain CPI, very unpopular with Democrats and progressives, but the, pre the president put it on the table. Uh, and Boehner walked away from those negotiations. He rejected that proposal and also said that he would no longer engage in negotiations with the president. So I think that, you know, while there could be a, a, a separate argument made that maybe the president could have met with congressional leaders sooner than the day of sequestration taking effect, uh, you know, you could maybe make that case. But again, if rev if any kind of new tax revenues are off the table, then uh, there might be little that he could do from from the White House's perspective, from the administration's perspective.